I want to talk about Flojo. Flojo is the mojo. It's our way of working. It is such an important part of our framework and it's something that we spend an enormous amount of time on. And here's why. The environment that you live and work and operate in defines your behavior. It defines in many senses your state of being. Just think about a time when you really didn't want to go to that dinner party or that concert or whatever it was and you went and joined the crowd and the crowd was having so much fun that by default you started having fun and we can understand how our environments actually influence our behavior and this is why the idea of falling to your level of training becomes so important because you build a system which is a structure that allows you to operate through and it gives you a framework and we have built a business that it breaks the traditional very fixed hierarchy we still have hierarchies and you're always going to have a natural organic hierarchy but they come and collapse as quickly as possible based on what's needed the key here is our business structure is this network of autonomous teams and our flow joke is our way of working and what it has allowed us to do is to define our competitive advantage and it's going to sound strange but our competitive advantage in the market is our ability to deliver. We have worked out how to ship data engineering and data solutions and the work that we do in very small buckets of chunks and we get it shipped almost to the point that we can guarantee a delivery. But it's all been built into our flowjo from the pre-sales point of view to what we call Sprint Zero, which is a deep understanding of the assessments of what we actually have to understand, getting under the hood into the architecture, and then ultimately into the delivery. And all of this is built around this design thinking, this lean, agile approach. And it's a very exciting framework because what it has done, and this for me is the most exciting part, and in a way it's quite mind-blowing, is Flojo has replaced a middle management layer. What we have done is we looked at what managers typically do. And if you think about a structured or a hierarchical organization, executives, management, workers. Now, if we take that management layer, pull it out, and say, okay, we need to have strategic direction. Let's put that at a board level, at the business, boom. And it sits on the side and it guides the broader aspect of the business. Now we take that management layer up, we now are able to build that as a Flojo framework and all the roles and responsibilities that a manager does gets built into Flojo. And then you've got these autonomous teams working within the context of Flojo. And it's a game changer for us. And for us, it is defines the success and our ability to truly compete in a highly competitive and a high performance environment. And I think it's going to stand us in very, very good stead. And it's something that we continually look at. And also for me as CEO, it really helps me understand where our cultural misalignments actually happen because I can see where dissonance starts coming in and how to manage that in a very healthy, proactive, balanced way for the teams that we're working within. So that's what our flow, Joe, is. And for me, boom, so exciting.